if I don't have a chronograph, what do I do? The ammunition we're running today are some factory 150 grain Fiocchi's. So what I've done today is I've done a quick zero shifting from ammunition. It's always worth checking your zero because there will be a point of impact difference. So what we're going to do to try and figure out our muzzle velocity is use fall of shot. We're out here at 300 meters. Now I've got a little three inch shoot and see target and I've got a big piece of core flute here so that I can find my shots. Now I have an estimated velocity of 850 meters per second on the box. Now to convert that, it's about 2,788 feet per second. That is a ballpark. That is what's printed on the box and that will give me an estimate. Now I'm not touching my elevation at all. I am going to shoot at this target with my 100 meter zero. I'm going to allow for that projectile to fall the correct amount to what I need to get to 300 meters. Right guys, so now we're down at 300 meters. We still had our 100 meter zero. We've used our center mass of this shoot and see at 300 meters and we've shot for this distance. Now we're gonna use our fall of shot to try and estimate our muzzle velocity. We've got a nice four shot group here, which measures under three inches, which is one MOA. Happy with that for factory 150 grain ammunition. So I'm measuring from the center of my shoot and see target down to the center of my four shot average group. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our app. We're gonna have a look at trying to estimate our muzzle velocity. I will then test it with a chronograph and see how we go. We're gonna go into our ballistic app and we're going to true. Now keep in mind, you have to know the distance to your target. I'm working with 313 meters. Now, if I go into the muzzle velocity section, it will of course have the distance that we're working with, it will have the estimated drop, and it will have the muzzle velocity that I entered off the box. But out of interest, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chronograph on, and we're gonna find out what the actual speed of this bullet is. Now if we go to my true muzzle velocity of 2,685 feet per second, we are close to 20 feet per second to our actual muzzle velocity. 